Bye. Hello and welcome back to another tutorial on Mind This Fit. But we're doing a mod tutorial, and the mod we are playing today is called the Gulliver mod, which has a very special potion. Well, two potions. One that makes you big, or one that makes you small. Now, Freeze will drink uh, a beginning potion, the purple one. Here we go. Wait a minute. Press a five. He grows! Oh very my god, big. we are absolutely huge. I don't. Well, for when you're huge, you've got a few advantages. You can reach further. I shall show you now. Try and reach somewhere f quite fit. You can reach all the way over there. Well, when you're uh, bigger, you can do more damage. You also wear tools out quicker. And uh, you can walk up one block of stairs without yeah, jumping. You don't jump. In, you don't sort of jump. And basically, it's just being awesome and being a boss. Now, if you drink a smaller one, it will make turn you back to normal. <laughs> So then you're back to normal, but if you drink another one, which is that, you'll go tiny. Woohoo! We are miniature. So now everything you hold is really big, and being tiny is probably the best part. Yeah. You have lots of advantages. If you hold a slime ball, you can just sort of. Anything's a ladder, really, when it slows you down. You can just go up there. Um. Uh, in single player, fishing rods are like grappling hooks. Well, I'll show you that now. Which is quite cool, but quite tricky. Ah, uh, I'm stuck in the uh, little forest area. Woo! It's like a little grappling hook thing. Do a little bit more distance. It's a bit tricky to see. Okay. okay up there. Oh god. Um. Lol, it fell off the cliff. Am I trying it? Go for it. Oh. No, pulled you down. <laughs> anyway, yeah, and you've got paper, so uh, it's paper. a parachute. It's basically a little parachute. Whee! Survive. <laughs> this is the cool part. Whee! You can't do this when you're big, so well, it sort of makes sense. Yeah, this is only for single player at the moment, so as soon as we know how to do it multiplayer, we will let you know, and we'll get a video up and around how to do that. So, um, another thing to know is that you can also use maps as parachute as well, so if you don't have any paper you can just alternatively use a map. And a bucket of milk puts you back to regular size. Yeah, a bucket of milk basically just gets rid of all potion effects. Uh, if you want to sort of grow back to normal. Okay, so that's enough for the preview, we'll get into the tutorial. So now we're going to cut and just reset the Minecraft. Go! Hey, gut. <laughs> <laughs> Fail. Okay, we're back and we have cleared Minecraft. Basically, we went on to it, options, force update, and then we did that stuff. Um, so this is the uh, web page where you get the actual um, mod from. So Ooh. scroll down. Yeah, we'll post the link in the description as usual. So you're gonna scroll all the way down to where it says client single player. Oh god, I'm almost not talking about that Um It's right there, if you want to hover over that. Just there? Yep. 1.2.5 this is. Click on that. Click on the link. And then it comes to add a fly. Then you wait five <laughs> seconds. Add a fly. A fly. Add fly. Okay. Add, just add a fly. Get add. And then you'll get that. If you're using Google Chrome, just... It'll be a downloads bar. Yeah, I've already dragged it in. So he accidentally sort of downloaded so it again. It in. I like to, so I'm just going to delete one. So I've got my. Okay, so just so drag your mod into any folder, preferably a folder for like Minecraft stuff. Yeah. Close the internet. Close the internet. You don't have to do this, this is just <laughs> makes life easy. Alright, so you want to open that with WinRAR. Right click, open with WinRAR Archiver. If you haven't got WinRAR, 7-zip will work as well, I believe. Mm -hmm. Now you want to click on the start button for Windows. Type it in there, percent, ape data, percent, ape, ape <laughs> data. App data. Monkeys. Uh, okay. Um. You used an and instead of a percent, mate. <laughs> Just leave me, leave me alone. Uh, Roman, go. and then and dot Minecraft. Ball. Then you go into bin, and then you go on the Minecraft jar. Right click, open with the uh, 
extracting software you're going to be using, so Win Winry in our case. So open them both so you can see them both together. So you've got the actual mod, and then you've got your Minecraft folder. And you need to remember which one's which, or yeah. you'll be replacing your entire Minecraft into a mod. <laughs> okay, so once you selected the mod sort of window, press Control A, and that'll select Control them all. A. Then drag that straight into Minecraft. We'll do this long process, click OK. Blue that I've done. Then where it says Meteor Inf in capital letters, just in case you can't see it, you delete that. And believe it or not, you are done. So close, close that. Them. And play Minecraft! Play. Now you might not notice straight away that it's um, worked. It's because. We'll just quickly show you how to brew a couple of potions. Yeah, we'll show you how to brew them. Actually, mm. make the potions. So just create a single player world. I'll go on the one I've already used. So this is the one we just did the preview on. Yeah, we so haven't currently figured out how to do it on multiplayer. Go so on the brewing stand. Okay. Go to the brewing stand. It's up the mountain up we'll, there. We'll mate. tell them what we. Need. It's up there. Okay, so we're in creative. So you're gonna need a glass bowl, obviously. You wanna get two, mate. I'm gonna I'm gonna clear all my inventory for the. Ross, my computer is having a fit. <laughs> Literally. It's <laughs> like stone slab trying to mix with torch. Leave it alone. Torch slab. Sorry guys, my computer's being a bit of a fish. Alright, you're gonna get a oh wait, don't need a bucket of water. <laughs> Just go up to the broom stand. Okay, I'm sorry, don't hurt me. No, I'm gonna get one on here. You're gonna need two red mushrooms. You're gonna need a broom stand. Okay. We've already got one. Yeah, but I'm gonna do it down here. Okay. We're having a little argument here, so. Rage mode. Okay, you're gonna need two red mushrooms. Oh my god. Go away, your What's baby is expired. <laughs> what? What is ba Babylon? Yeah, I'm just gonna get three, but yeah, anyway. You need one to make an embiggening potion, and then you use another one to make a shrinking potion. Okay. But you're gonna need a nether wart to make it an awkward potion. So get a nether wart. Nether wart. Get some bottles. We need some water. Yes, you will. And we need some glass bottles. Get two, so we can make two potions. You don't know a glass bottle stack. Alright, sorry. And you don't need two buckets of water. Yeah. <laughs> Stop bullying me. Oh, okay. he's such a special boy. Um, anyway. Get the stuff that you want to play around with, so. Paper. Paper, slime. Slime, paper, fishing rod. Fishing rod, okay. Alright, now place your brewing stand down, boy. Place your brewing stand down. Click on it. Wait, you want to. Dig a little hole, Dig a little put your hole. water in there. Uh, fill it with water. Get your glass bottles. Get a glass bottle. Fill it with water. Fill it with water. Click on the brewing stand. Click on the brewing stand. Right click on the brewing stand. No, on the bottom where the... Alright, oh, sorry mate. Right, put your... You didn't get two bottles of water mate, you've only got one. Oh, sorry. You said, fill your bottle of water, not fill both... Yeah, okay, anyway. Okay. Put them both in there. Put them both in put there. Put your nether wart in there. Put the nether wart in there to create an awkward potion. After like... Eight years. It's not really eight years. Oh. Eight years on Ross's computer, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is true. We're doing a tester on a, a server, and it literally took about an hour in between this recording. So, okay, now you have an awkward potion. No effects until you add a red mushroom. Bob, you can put two in there, and that will just, you know, do its thing. Um, we've got to wait another eight years for it to work. Yeah, the um, Yogg's cast did a review on this. But they so didn't tell you, like, yeah. how to make them. Or so we thought we would. Hooray! Hooray for being clever. <laughs> okay, now we have the embiggening potion, which makes you big. Why don't you... You can also, at the end of these, add um, redstone to make them last longer. Or... And or, should I say... Uh, gunpowder to make them so you can throw them on mobs. Okay, so just Why don't you do that? Get a piece of gunpowder, Reeves. Wait. Okay, now we've got the downsides, so we'll just show them how it works. Oh, do, we've already done that. Get a gunpowder out. You want some gunpowder? Get some gunpowder and run place it with your bucket. You don't need that. Don't need this right there. Place it with your bucket. Yep. Click on the brewing stand. Click on the brewing stand. Buy your new. <laughs> Can't give me words up again. That's it. Put the gunpowder in. That will make them both slush potions. Now, while it's doing that, get your inventory out. Get your inventory. And get a mob egg of, I don't know, a creeper or something. Hmm, let's spawn a... Creeper! Creeper. Creeper. It makes their explo explosions bigger. Wait, get an enderman. Get an enderman. Just because you absolutely adore my kind. Okay. 
I'm gonna get rid of this uh, last nether wall because we don't need it. Okay. Get your potions. They splash potions. They last 15 seconds. Okay. Right. Okay. Spawn your creeper and your enderman. Hey creeper. Um. Wait. You're in peaceful, mate. I know that. Yeah. I'm not very clever. No, you're not. Thanks. Uh. Pull. There we go. Hey. How you doing? Hey. Now throw the shrinky potion, which is the green one. Where are you going? Trying to get it. Throw at them, yeah. Yes. Woohoo! <laughs> We're all mini! We are tiny! Yeah! This is pretty awesome. Ah! Great! Nice one! Now he's like a tiny end one, it's like teleporting around. <laughs> There's the creeper. Where's the creeper? I punch the creeper and we'll just see a tiny explosion. <laughs> LOL! <laughs> tiny creeper explosion. Up the wall. Now sort your life out and get a bucket oh, of thanks. water. <laughs> sort your life out. Get a bucket of water. Reset, reset right. your. Oh, no, oh, idea. Oh, okay. water. Spawn another creeper. And make him huge! Oh my god! <laughs> oh look, there's the. Look how big. No, that's it. Yeah, look it's how a big one. he is! Oh my god, now we're like 8,000 times smaller. <laughs> oh, no. they look like brothers, don't they? Brother and Enderman. <laughs> can, I, can I hit the creeper? Hit the creeper. <laughs> look at the explosion. Whoa! It killed the Enderman. That was huge. Okay, and okay. the brain stands. <laughs> got destroyed. Flew away. All right, the water's um, flooded everywhere. Yeah, that's the end of the tutorial, really. So. Yeah, I tried doing it to a ghast, it doesn't, so then get your hopes up, making a gigantic flying deadly fortress. Okay, so um, yeah, just if you got any queries or anything, just leave it in the comment section below. If you want us to do some playing uh, in shrinky mode, <laughs> like a little adventure, just let us know. Just let us know. If not, we'll do it anyway because it's I think fun. it's gonna be super fun. Even though we can't get it on multiplayer. Yeah. Well, actually, that's a good point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so stay tuned for the next mod review or next video on minus vid. Okay. Bye, guys. Boya. See you later. Good luck repairing that hole. <laughs>